latest on October 27th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Two cyclones are active today on October 27th, day 300 of the year so far. 80 storms have formed on our books and Kiar and Pablo are the latest. Kiara Category 4 in the Indian Ocean, Pablo, a tropical storm in the Atlantic, and there it is, not far from the Azores, in fact clipping the uh, easternmost islands on day 148 of Atlantic hurricane season. In the eastern Pacific on day 165, there's no systems active. That makes a change after a while that the season is winding down over there. In the Western Pacific, 98W active to the uh, east of the Southern Philippines and Cyclone Kiar Category 4 and an invest in the Indian Ocean in the Bay of Bengal. And no systems are active in the Southern Hemisphere this time, it's all quiet here. Cyclone Kiar is moving away from Western India with winds of 130 mile, miles per hour and a pressure of 944. Millibars verified by Sati, 336 miles from Mumbai to the southwest, 17.1 north, 68.3 east. Expectations over the next few days are for the storm to peak in the next 12 to 24 hours. Already starting to look excellent on satellite, could be a Category 5 peak on the way. And then gradual weakening will occur as it uh, starts to stall east of Oman. Its long-term track is pretty uncertain, models are very divergent, indeed the HWRF loops it all the way around to the coast of Pakistan, so certainly can't be ruling out landfall on the continent at this point, or indeed on the Arabian Peninsula. So here is the storm at the moment, wind shear is excellent, 5 knots or below, so that is why the eye is coming out there with some fantastic cloud tops around it. The North Atlantic looks like this. You can just about see Pablo on the very northern, northeastern side of your screen there. Um, what's left of Olga moved through the United States um, not so long ago. And a little area there in the Western Caribbean, which could well be a disturbance. Gulf of Mexico zoomed in. You can see that disturbance again near the Cayman Islands and further north. Not too much going on in the Gulf now. The Eastern Pacific is fairly quiet. You can see it here. A line of equatorial thunderstorms, um, almost equatorial, a bit further north than that, but really nothing standing out for potential tropical cyclone development. Further north, you've got a lot of cirrus by the looks of things and high level cloud and thin cloud and some um, one or two frontal systems there too. The Western Pacific looking like this, um, remnants of a uh, circulation in the central area there. Towards the west, 98W, whether it's still on the books or not, I'm not sure, but it was located near Palau and some thunderstorm activity increasing throughout the central and southern Philippines today as well. The Australia and South Pacific region is looking fairly quiet, a few thunderstorms here and there blowing up mainly over Papua New Guinea but one not too far from Fiji as well and in the Indian Ocean obviously dominated by the cyclone but further east you can see that other investors well off the eastern coast of Sri Lanka could be delivering some locally heavy rainfall and potential for flash flooding. So this is what the uh, sea surface temperatures look like along the western coast of Mexico starting to fade a little bit more 28 29 degrees Celsius Gulf of Mexico much cooler further north but still warm in the south western Caribbean 30 degrees possible um, further east out towards the main development region still 28 29 degrees but we just don't really get the waves now at this time of year for any developments still can't be ruled out. North Indian Ocean, a cool pool uh, forming in the wake of Kiyar. Temperatures generally around 28 degrees Celsius. 30 degrees though in parts of the Bay of Bengal and over in the Western Pacific as well. The Philippine Sea in particular, 30 degrees plus, especially further south. So this is the latest imagery of Cyclone Kiyar, which is moving around west-northwest at this point. The northern side appears to be blowing up the most in the last few hours. You can see the blackness there, that's rain rates. I think it's over 50 millimeters of rain per hour in the black areas and in the purple areas surrounding it as well. Uh, very good core around the center of the storm. Whether it's got a full eye wall or not, I think it might do by now, and we could possibly see Category 5 status on the way. This is the very curious case of Tropical Storm Pablo. Certainly tropical at this point, and you can see an eye feature, probably not an actual eye, but nonetheless, wind speeds are up a little bit, around 60-65 miles per hour in this storm. Tiny as well, 
Um, it's moving by Ponta Delgada right now in the Azores, and that island is probably only just larger than it. So here we are then in the grand scheme of things on day 300 of the year. The next name in the Atlantic is Rebecca. In the Eastern Pacific, it's Raymond. In the Central Pacific, we're still looking out for Hone. Over in the Western Pacific, the next name on the list is Matmo, and in the North Indian Ocean, we're now looking out for Maha. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page, search Force 13 all in text and subscribe if you haven't already. And you can also find us on Facebook and Twitter under the same name and you can get in touch with us on any of those platforms. That's all for now, we'll have more updates on all of these storms as time progresses. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.